Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Super Pro Show, where we talk all things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. And right now it is 4.05 a.m. I just got done watching the Loki show with my roommate, and it was completely amazing. So I did want to get out a quick review. I will be doing a scene-by-scene -scene review on my podcast coming out probably on Friday or um, probably Thursday. Uh, most likely that that will be out. But I did want to give a quick, you know, review some stuff that really pointed out to me, some stuff that I really liked. I want to address on this. So first off, I wanted to address how I feel about the show so far for episode one. So obviously, I mean, Falcon and, and, the, and the Winter Soldier was good. WandaVision was amazing. But um, you can definitely tell the difference between the quality of work they put into Loki versus the other shows, but also like the importance of this show. Now, WandaVision, I, I would say, is pretty much equal of importance, but the... and. I'm, <laughs> The quality has been good throughout the both shows, but you can tell with this show, they put a lot of money into this by just, if you look at the way the Tom Brady's authority is, I mean, you have to put the money to kick to make, to make the technology look next level because technically so far, what we, from what we've seen in the MCU, they're, they're the most powerful force in the universe. They're the, they're the one that holds time together. So, um, that is, it, it was really mind boggling to see in a good way. Um, but this first episode was amazing. It's not like it's an action-packed thing, which I think is good. A lot of people think because there's no action, that doesn't mean it's good. No, you cannot have action and still have a lot of weighted material, and this is what it was, you know? And I do want to give a shout-out to Tom Hiddleston, man. His performance is otherworldly right now. He's in his bag, okay? No one – I mean, he's when he's done, man, he's going to be up there. He's, I mean, he already is up there, in my opinion, with, with being, like, in my opinion, he's – a top three villain he's what he's a top three one of the greatest villains ever when i think of loki i think of tom hiddleston there's no one that does it like him he is goaded okay and this performance is another thing that we can add to his checklist of goaded performances that he has done and so yeah so i'm just so uh freaking amazed by the quality of acting that tom hiddleston is doing right now um but some things that we do need to know after this first episode right in the TVA, the Infinity Stones don't work. The dude, the dude literally said, we have a bunch of them. We use them as, as like placeholders. The Infinity Stones in the TVA do not work. The freaking Tesseract didn't even work. That's how powerful they are. And I think that's what really showed Loki when he saw like they had like five or six or seven, eight or nine Infinity Stones just sitting in, in a freaking box. That showed him that this is the most powerful force in the universe. And you know, for Loki, this is kind of a slap in the face because, you know, he was known to be a god. Like, uh, to him, Asgard is, like, one of the most powerful forces ever. And to go to the TVA and see that, like, compared to Thor's hammer and the Finny Stones, that's just a baby freaking thing. Like, it doesn't even work. It's <laughs> it's insane to see. The other thing, too, is that Loki saw his end. And um, when I was watching it with my friend Darren, I kind of alluded that, to that. I was like, the way that he's probably going to, like... The, what is probably going to force him or make him want to um, work with the TVAs when he sees his his death and figures out that, like, yo, like, I'm just a little piece to this bigger universe, you know, because he's always thought that he was meant to rule. And when he sees the way he dies, it's kind of like, yeah, you're really meant to be a loser. You're meant to die. You're meant to bring pain to people and violence and, you know, stuff like that. Um, Another point, right? This shows how powerful and i just said this but this shows how powerful the, the tva actually is like loki is one of the most powerful beings in 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 the mcu and he li literally cannot use his powers even without the neck thing his powers are useless um in the tva so i mean there's no way out for him like seeing him look this useless was kind of weird to see like even when he was in prison at Asgard, he still could use his powers just in the confines of that, you know, his cell. And so some theories that I have, because obviously in the end of the episode, it said that Loki is going to be going after himself because he's on the run or whatever. And um, I do have some theories, man, some theories that might be going on. I think what happened is uh, they either try to get another Loki from another timeline to help and he might have turned against them, and maybe he's trying to go back to the beginning of time to rule the world, or he keeps going farther back to see when he can rule the rule Earth, because um he was in like the 1800s and he burned all of the TVA, so maybe he's trying to rule the Earth, and maybe we'll start to see that as time goes on. Um, 
what if and a lot of people were talking about lady loki I, i'm going to try to stay off of that right now because I, ha I haven't heard any signs to i haven't seen any signs signs towards that but i mean another theory <clears throat> could be that it might not be loki it might be someone posing as loki you know at first when i saw the dead uh Minutemen, i thought it was going to be kane the conqueror but it's not him uh, it was someone in the hood so it's probably loki um, I mean, what if, you know, this Loki is jumping through through timelines and he's trying to get something. I don't know what that is, but he's trying to collect things through the timeline, through the different timelines, because he was in another timeline before and he killed a bunch of men and men, too. So if he's jumping through, you know, different timelines, trying to collect a bunch of stuff, that would be pretty dope to see as well. Um, But, yeah, I mean, th those are kind of my, my two theories right now is that he's maybe jumping for time, jumping from 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 timeline to timeline to get something or he's trying to go like as far back as possible to try to see like at what point in human history can he become the ruler of the world like this show was amazing like i am in complete amazement uh yeah i mean that's really all i gotta say man this show is really really good and i think you all need need to watch first episode so Give it a watch and tell me what you think. Leave your comments below and what you think is going to happen. And also, there was an Easter egg. There was a multiverse of madness Easter egg in there uh, when they were when they were explaining why. Like, so basically, um, when Loki was in like his TVA suit, they were explaining to him why he was there, and they said like, you know, you created like a a madness in the multiverse. So obviously, they're giving us a hint to what we're going to be seeing next to multiverse of madness. You never know. Wanda might end up in this TVA thing too, with her jumping through dimensions. If she, and here's the thing that that they said too, like, because I thought that if Loki's getting done up, then they'll be trying to get the Avengers too. But Loki brought that up and said the Avengers were the ones time jumping, and she said no, they were supposed to do that. So it's, it's not a matter of if you are time jumping, are you supposed to time jump? And if you're supposed to time jump, the TVA will not come after you. If you aren't supposed to time jump and you're trying to change the course of history. With by your own hand, the TVA will get you, and that's why. Because I was questioning, like, okay, well, then why did why didn't they get, they get Thanos if he wiped out the whole universe, or when he warped time the Time Stone, or Doctor Strange when he warped time? Because they were supposed to do that. If you're not supposed to warp time in that moment, then you'll get caught. It's not just warping time in general. It's if you warp time, you create all these different different timelines. So now my other question is: when Cap went back in time to give all of the Time Stones back, did he just did did what if the TVA intercepted the cap during his return and just took them all? And then the TVA basically severed all of these other timelines and put it back on one. That's kind of the idea that I'm starting to get. We, 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 we might see that. <clears throat> we might end up seeing that. And that might be the cause of why Black Widow is alive. Hmm. So that's just some of my theories for what's going on right now. But thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, please watch the first episode and leave a comment below, like, and subscribe to show some love. We're going to be doing this every week for when Loki comes out. So have a nice day. Stay crispy. Deuces.